I wanted to spend just a couple of minutes uh, introducing you to uh, some of the features of the uh, discussion board on Blackboard Learn. Um, it's not entirely intuitive when you first come to it uh, how, to, how to make best use of it. Um, easy enough to use on the surface, but uh, there are a couple of little tricks that will make it a lot easier for us to, to uh, take, take better use of it during the running of the course. So I wanted to run you through those. First of all, uh, when you click on Discussions from the navigation bar, you're going to come to this page, and it's the discussion board that has all of the forums listed. All right, um, And with those forums, you, a forum is just Blackboard Learn lingo for uh, uh, a topic that we're going to, to deal with. So I have a couple of open ones. Um, uh, one is a demo that I just created for now, but anything you want to talk about, introductions, and then our weekly discussion topics. All right, each one of those is a forum. Now, um, when you click on a forum, you'll go in and see the various threads that have been created for conversation. And in this case, there's only one. I've posted uh, a welcome message, and every week, you will see a welcome message um, uh, in the forum for the weekly discussion. But for this one, for the demo, I have welcome to the discussion demo. All right, let's click on it and see what comes up. Now, if you look down, you'll see that the message already loads. And here was that message. Here is where you'll read an introduction to the discussion. You'll also find it in the website. All right. So you can see already that we've got a structure building. Go up to the top and notice how it says Discussion Board. There's a link for that. And then there's Forum, Demonstration of Posting to the Discussion Board. And then there's the thread, Welcome to the Discussion Demo. Now each of those is a link you can go back to. And in fact, I want you to because at this point, let's say we have a welcome message to a topic for the week. If everybody in the class hit reply, everybody would be replying to that first message. And it could get very confusing very quickly how to find who was saying what and who was talking to whom in the class. So it's a lot better if for each major post we make, like you'll be making a big post every week to a discussion topic. And if you do that as your own thread. So let's go back to the forum and create a unique thread. So click on thread and say Rick's post on the topic and something smart I have to say. Okay. And you submit this and now notice that there are two threads in the forum. All right, so there's the welcome to the discussion demo, and then there's Rick's post on the topic. All right now, let's say you come along and and uh, you, you want to read what Rick has to say to it, and you say, "Oh, something smart I have to say." All right, well, let's say you want to reply to Rick, and you want to say something nice like that. Really was a smart thing. Cool conversation. Alright, submit. And now you'll notice that my reply is embedded within my post to that topic. Alright, with me so far? So let's go back and see how that shakes out. We've got a welcome to the discussion demo, my post, and now there are two posts within my post because one is a reply. Right? Now at this point, if I also wanted to reply to Rick's post on the topic, I could, but I might want to reply to the person who replied. So I can reply, I can click on that reply, reply to it, Make sure that really was a smart thing, cool conversation. And I could say, I disagree. It wasn't all that smart. 
here's what I think. About it. And then submit that. And you'll see that this is now a reply to the reply. But another person might come along and click on Rick's post on the topic, something smart I have to say, reply to that, and say, I have a new idea about something you said. And now you'll see that it is a reply at the same level as that original reply. All right. Now you can collapse these. See the little negative sign? I can collapse that and you can see all the major replies to that first post on the topic. Now the next person comes along, okay, goes to the, dem the discussion board, creates a thread, says, a new person's post on. Now I'm doing all of them, so they'll all come up as my name, but a new person's post on the topic could be there. And you can make up whatever subject name you want. You can be as clever as you like. Usually people have a pretty good time with those topics. And uh, my original thoughts on the topic. Okay, and submit that. And you'll see now that we have the welcome message, Rick's post on the topic, and a new person's post on the topic. And in each case, the replies to that person's ideas will be embedded within that structure. And that's really helpful in the long run uh, because you'll want to know what people said about what you said and you'll want to be able to find where something was said on a partic particular topic. And this is going to break that out a lot more nicely, a lot more visibly for you as you use this, uh, as you use this stuff. Okay? So just remember that we've got three levels. We've got the discussion board, the forum, and the thread. And you need to back out to the forum to create a new thread. And then within the threads, and just about anywhere, you can reply to messages at whatever level you like. So I hope this makes some sense to you. Uh, work with it, give it a try, and if it doesn't work for you, we can give more demos, live demos, uh, Skype me, talk to me, I can run you through it again. And uh, uh, we can also do it in, in our group sessions. Uh, just to make sure everybody's uh, familiar with and, and comfortable with using this. And I think you'll pick it up. It'll become second nature to you very quickly.